I'm surprised by Lauren Goodger's modest appearance when I first met her. This is the same girl that, well, shoved her ex-boyfriend Mark right into a swimming pool and appeared in multiple on-screen confrontations with her fellow Toei cast members. However, the woman who is sitting in front of me now is very different from the TV wild child who made her television debut in the first season of The Only Way is Essex back in 2010. She's invited me inside her humble West Essex apartment, where she resides with her pride and pleasure, her two-year-old daughter LaRose. Lauren, 37, greets me with a big smile and a kind sparkle in her eye. She asks how I'm doing and apologizes for having her hair in rollers when she first met me, making sure she'll be ready for our picture session later. Viewers haven't had a chance to see the real Lauren yet. She's still vivacious and fun-loving but has controlled her wild tendencies that made her a reality TV mainstay. Now that she's back on the program that made her famous, I'm interested to see if fans can anticipate the same romantic drama that dominated her first run. Although she has moved past her argumentative days with her ex-husband Mark, her toy comeback will undoubtedly prompt concerns about the drastically divergent roads their lives have gone. They were essentially the Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton of their era, complete with media attention, infidelity, and arguments fueled by drink, even if they didn't have two marriages. In Mark's instance, he pursued the spotlight by appearing on Strictly Come Dancing and I'm a Celebrity. He eventually hosted his own shows, The Bachelor and The Challenge. In his private life, he and his actress wife Michelle Keegan are a power couple from Essex who have acquired millions together through their joint ventures. Since it's no one else's business after all, Michelle argues that the couple does not currently have children and has not stated whether they would desire any. Unlike Mark, who is childless, Lauren, who is unmarried, is a proud mother to a two-year-old girl named LaRose, whom she shares with her ex-boyfriend Charles Drury. She has also dabbled in spells on reality television, participating in programs like Celebrity Big Brother and Dancing on Ice. She had arguments with glamour model Frenchie and Richie Garnacho, the star of Geordie Shore, while she was a resident of the CBB house. Despite going through an unimaginable ordeal last year, she has since mellowed and become a mother and multi-business owner. Furthermore, it's evident that Lauren chose to be single on her terms and as a rational course of action while she heals from the trauma she's experienced recently. Her second daughter Lorena tragically died in 2022 after giving birth with her umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. When Lauren considers the loss, her expression changes. It must be nearly hard to deal with such an unfathomable trauma. She clarifies, nevertheless, that she must be strong for LaRose because her firstborn daughter is what sustains her. Losing my second daughter, the breakup, everything that went on around that time, I just went into my own bubble of being a mom, the woman says, looking back on the horrors she experienced in 2022. LaRose was the one who gave me motivation. You will never go past it. You never get over something. But you get better at healing and living. Since I am unable to handle it, I do wish to assist others in doing so. I'm at a loss for words. No one should ever endure the pain of losing their own child. It is something you could never explain to someone. You become a different person as a result of it being absent. It is a daily source of heartache. Lauren explains openly how it affected her emotional state, saying, You just don't want to be here anymore. Being LaRose's mother was the only thing that kept me going, which is why I'm tough and able to put on a brave face. LaRose is my nice person. It's all about having decent people around you. I'm so attached to her since she's the one who knows me the best. I adore her twice over. I shield her twice. In August 2022, the day of Lorena's burial, Charles was charged for assaulting Lauren. He disputed the charges of violence and using coercive or controlling behavior against his former partner. A not guilty decision was recorded for both accusations, and the case was dismissed earlier this year after Lauren withdrew her support for the case. While Lauren acknowledges that their relationship with Charles hasn't always been smooth, she maintains that they are currently in a good position, are acting in their daughter's best interests, and are still friends.
Lauren describes her pragmatic approach to co-parenting as follows. It has not been easy, but we're at a point where it is running smoothly at the moment. Charles visits the Rose frequently. She is still optimistic that she will be able to grow her family in the future, even after going through the unfathomable trauma of losing Lorena. Lauren says, I'm not looking for a man and all that right now, but I would like another child. I have a ton of work on my plate. It's baby steps, as I've recently returned to the program and am working with Toei once more. I would definitely have more kids, but being in a relationship right now is the worst thing I can think of. The fact that LaRose comes first makes it even more significant. Bringing another man into my life, our life, will take time. However, I will when the moment is appropriate. All I'm doing is what I do. I'm content and don't need a relationship. ASA mother, I haven't dated either, so this will be unique. That would be my time, when she was residing with her father. She has altered her dating style, becoming more astute but unjaded when it comes to issues of the heart. She's had her share of whirlwind romances, but now she wants to slow things down. I fall in love fast, and that can go horribly wrong. Lauren giggles in acknowledgement. Usually, two weeks is when I move in, and at that point I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic, going 100 miles per hour. However, I'm going to calm down now and meet someone the proper way. She doesn't have a long list of requirements for a man, and her request isn't all that out of the ordinary. She thinks, I just want a nice, decent man. A decent person in my child's presence. I'm a good girlfriend. I am really traditional. I'm faithful and incredibly loyal. I have a big heart, but I'm a multi-layered person who takes a long time to open up. Lauren dated Joey Morrison, a prisoner, for two years before Charles. Despite Lauren waiting for him while he was incarcerated, the couple parted ways in 2018. In addition, Lauren had an intermittent relationship with Jake McLean for four years, from 2012 to May 2016, at which time she sadly miscarried. More sadness struck in July 2022 when Jake, 33, lost his life in a vehicle accident in Turkey while on vacation with his toy star girlfriend Yasmin Aukelu. It was alleged that the couple had been romantically associated until 2020, and had enjoyed a more recent relationship in secret after his death. Friends close to the celebrity say that Lauren, who was expecting her second child at the time, was understandably devastated by Jake's sudden passing. Mark, a Toei star, was Lauren's first and possibly most well-known partner. The initial seasons of the scripted reality show followed their troubled on-again, off-again romance as well as Mark's notorious liaisons with Sam Fares and Lucy Mecklenburg. They were the show's first golden pair. Before popping the question to Lauren in a bar parking lot during the second season of the ITV show, Mark was accused of cheating on her during the first series. The couple ended their engagement in August 2011 after a five-month courtship. Even his current wife Michelle was enthralled with the ups and downs of their romance at the time, the Coronation Street star wrote. I love Tony, in her Love It magazine column. It's one of those shows you can't resist turning on even when you don't want to watch. It's very embarrassing that Lauren seems to be able to forgive Mark so quickly. That's just me, but I wouldn't be able to get back together with someone who has slept with a lot of the girls I knew. Ironically, though, Michelle ended up marrying Mark when he and Lauren had a very contentious split that resulted in a lot of mudslinging. In the end, Lauren says she has, no regrets, about any of her time spent on the program, but nowadays, her relationships aren't as prominently featured. Lauren has also not been seen in public for a few months, having essentially disappeared for a year following the untimely death of Lorena in an attempt to cope with her ordeal in private. In an Instagram post, she shared the news of the death of her second daughter, expressing her grief and pleading for privacy to be respected during her time of mourning. I applaud her for being so forthright and honest about her personal issues with the world. She has surely assisted other ladies who are going through similar things. However, Lauren rationalizes. It's my life. I can't set those boundaries. I perform everything for the public, 
including my breakups and losses that I was not doing any TV or similar work for a year because I could only do so much. However, it seems like now is Lauren's moment to return to the forefront. I can't just hide away. I have to work to support LaRose, she says. I wish to confront reality. Hence, returning to Toei felt like the best course of action because that's where I began, even though I've been mending and I still am. Fourteen years after making her debut on the ITV program, Lauren made a comeback to the show last week that helped make her a household figure. She acknowledges, It feels like I never left. When asked how it feels to be back on the show, naturally, becoming a mother makes things different this time around, but once you're back behind the wheel, it's like learning to drive. The show isn't as raw as it once was. And they seem to care more about you today than they did that we used to be mic'd up from 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. when I first started filming the show, and I remember thinking, Oh God, what have we said in that time? But since it's what made it what it was, I wouldn't have changed that. Though a lot has happened since then, I would do it all over again since it is what the public desired to see. That explains why we have a following. It was reality, but we all had distinct characters to play. We are aware of what they desired to see from specific individuals that we had meetings to plan plot lines and play ball. To keep it engaging, we took the necessary steps. Not only has Lauren's eagerly anticipated comeback to Toei delighted her fans, but she has also enjoyed herself, stating, I forgot who I was for a while. However, Everyone at work has truly made me feel unique. I simply feel so popular right now. I'm here to be the mother and the big sister, not to stir up trouble. Although I have a lot on my plate right now, life is nice.